Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kendrick. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a few tips for making comics and manga. And these tips work pretty much for anything, uh, any kind of story, or you know anything like that. So this is probably the best way to structure your uh, stories. Is the three act structure, you know, act one, act two, act three. So, so you see this being used in pretty much anything like movies, anime, manga. Uh, all kinds of stuff, right? So everybody pretty much uses this and it's because it's pretty good. So it's not just dividing into three acts. You have to, you know, know how long each part is going to be. So what you want to do is the intro is going to be 25%. So that's act one. And then act two is 65% and act three is like 10%. This is not how exactly how it has to be it can change, right? So it could be a little more, a little less, but it's around that area. In the intro, you kind of show your characters. So you show their life before the event, pretty much, or transformation. What is happening, right? What is going to happen? So, for example, Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man is a good example. Uh, Spider-Man Act 1, let's say, is life before transformation, right? Before he gets the powers. And you see this a lot in origin stories, especially. Like it's more easy to notice it, but it happens in, in everything pretty much. But let's go into this. Uh, Spider-Man, let's say he, you know, life before transformation is just him in high school, right? Like he's just this guy, whatever. It's normal life before the transformation. And then, you know, he goes through that, you know, you learn about the character and things like that. And then you get to the point... And then you get to the point of no return, which is, I guess, when he, get the he gets the powers. And now he has powers, right? He's no longer normal, I guess. He's, uh, he's going to become Spider-Man, right? So that's the end of Act 1. You know, he pretty much introduced the character, and then, I guess, the event happened. Now they're the point of no return. They, they can't go back to being normal, kind of. That's the idea, right? So now, that's Act 1. That's kind of introduction. Act two is uh, pretty much the main thing in the story, right? Like him, it's a Spider-Man, whatever, uh, getting new situation, right? So he's like dealing with his new stuff, new powers, whatever, transformative experience, you know, all the problems and things start uh, happening, right? Uh, pretty much, I guess, it's going to be the main thing that you want to do in your story. This is, this is probably going to be the main thing. Uh, you know, there's problems, whatever, there's crisis, and you, here, I guess you meet your friends, enemies, things like that, right? Everything happens, pretty much. And then Act 3 is like the last 10% is, uh, all seems lost, you know, it's like the final showdown, okay? Uh, so I guess the, the main bad guy or the main problem is gonna happen there, the main, the biggest challenge, I guess, right? The biggest... Yeah, the, the final showdown, pretty much. You, you get the idea. Uh, Self so sacrifice. I mean, sometimes you don't need to do that, but uh, I guess uh, things like that. I think it's a really good balance of it. And is it, I'm not saying I came up with this stuff. I uh, read it in uh, different books, like uh, how to write uh, writing for comic books, something like that, I forgot the name. I put the links in the description and you know, there's other books that you have to structure your novel. Uh, different books talk about it, right? So uh, I'm just sharing this. Um, hopefully it helps some of you guys. So I'm going to do another example. This is going to be a quick example uh, about Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, right? This is an anime. Everybody knows this anime, right? Uh, so this is like the first episode of this is the first, well, the first few, the first episode and like a little bit of the episodes of the, you know, of Dragon Ball Z, like the beginning. They pretty much do the same thing. They have the structure. Uh, you can see, uh, I'll show you a couple of examples. So, okay, I forgot to talk about this, the hook. The hook is, you know, make the reader want to read more. It's, it's pretty much, it doesn't have to be the main thing of the story, it's just, Something interesting that makes the reader want to keep going. So, for example, it doesn't have to be like the first thing, but as soon as possible, you should put, you should try to have like a hook. Something is gonna make the person 
the reader uh, interesting, right? They want to find out more. So the story starts uh, like this, right? This spaceship comes in and it crashes. And this guy, I guess, sees it. You know, it's a random guy. You know, nobody really... It's not the main character, but, you know, the character goes there to see what was going on. And then whatever is Radix and this uh, guy, this bad guy. But right away, this kind of creates a mystery. Like you see, okay, what? Some, something landed there. You're already like curious. Uh, you know, there's an explosion there. People want to know what happened. Like, and that's why you see that in a lot of movies too. Like, you know, some they start like with like alien ship crashing or like something like crazy like that, right? Uh, so that's like the hook. It makes you interested. I guess you see this guy. He's like this alien, I guess, and you see he's pretty strong and stuff. So that's like the hook. You you're already interested. You you wanna find out more about this guy, I guess, right? So that's the hook, and then you see how they they actually go into into this life before transformation, right? So. They go into Goku, like in his normal life, he's just like in the mountains, whatever, his house, just doing some normal stuff, uh, you know, getting some wood or something. Uh, you know, then he goes to visit like his friends and all that, whatever. He's like pretty much his life before, you know, the event, right? This is just the intro, life before the transformation, or whatever, the event, or what is going to happen. Then Radix shows up, you know, talks to Goku, whatever. Uh, stuff happens. He takes Gohan. So he takes Gohan. And then I guess that, that will be the point of no return, right? Or the new situation, right? It ends Act 1 and then now it's Act 2. You know, new situation, problem. Like, this is a problem, right? So now Goku has to go there and save Gohan, right? So... Things start happening, whatever. This is like the main, you know, you develop, I guess, you explain more about the characters, you develop the whole story, right? Uh, yeah, so that's the main thing. Then, and then Act 3 is, is the thing where they're fighting, and then Goku end up, ends up dying, right? He, he actually, he, he follows this pretty well. Like, all seems lost, which happens, like, in most anime, you know, like, it's like, there's no way they can win or whatever, and then like something happens, right? This all seems lost, and then you know the final showdown, uh, self-sacrifice. It doesn't really, it doesn't always have to happen, but it, it just happened. Like it, it happens here. Um, Goku sacrificing himself or and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so that's like the final showdown, and in it, you know, does it goes through the whole thing. Uh, and you know, like it didn't, it doesn't really take too long. It doesn't weigh too much in the beginning. It doesn't weigh too much at the end. It's kind of, it, it has a good flow, I guess. So yeah, and then okay, that's pretty much the idea, right? Uh, and let's say you want to make like a series. What you want to do with a series is, uh, you at the end of this, you introduce something new. And then go through the same steps again. So I say at the end, let's see, Radix dies, right? Radix dies, and then he says, "Oh, you know, that these stronger guys coming, whatever." Another, uh, and then, you know, that's gonna start a new story, right? But then you start doing all the stuff, the intro, the conflict, whatever. You do the same thing. So you know, I just want to show this. Uh, I think it's pretty good to structure your stories. Um, yeah, a few tips. Hopefully, they're pretty useful. So, I think it's good to know. And when you're watching anime or reading comics or manga, or watching movies, anything like that, just keep this in mind. And you start seeing a lot of the things, uh, you know, that the, the people are doing. And yeah, it just uh, it really helps and even makes the writing the story easier so yeah that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys like it and i hope you find it useful so yeah thanks for watching see you next time